How are we doing, everybody? I'm Cody Maljoy. This is Happy Hills Cars and Stuff. And today, we're going to be installing a radiator into the Fiesta ST. Tools you're going to need for this are going to be towels, brake cleaner, if you want to use it, gloves, 7mm socket or wrench. It's going to be for the intake hoses, 10mm wrench or socket, vice grip pliers, flat tip screwdriver, scissors, obviously a radiator, new coolant, a jack and jack stands or ramps, a fluid catch, and a funnel. First, you're going to want to roll the car onto ramps, making sure to chalk the rear wheels, or jack it up onto jack stands. Then go ahead and open the hood of the car. Now, remove the vacuum lines and connectors from the intake and the top of the motor is shown. Then you're going to want to loosen the intake hose clamp prior to moving on. Loosen and remove the 10mm intake mounting nut. Next, you're going to want to lift up on the intake housing and pull out the intake system. You may have to remove separate components to make it easier to remove. Now remove the throttle body vacuum line and move it out of the way. Remove the hood latch connector with the ties holding the connector cable as shown. Then, you're going to route the cable towards the ground and remove the fan trail connector. Cut the zip tie holding the shroud connector and then move the cables behind the intercooler piping. Next, remove the hood latch cable and set it to the side. Then, remove the vacuum line harness from the mounting post and move it out of the way. Now remove the two plastic covers for the upper radiator posts, as well as the bushings. Go ahead and place the fluid catch under the radiator. Ensure that the coolant is cooled down enough before proceeding. Now remove the expansion tank cap. Using your vice grips, grip the lower hose clamp and remove the hose, allowing the coolant to drain to the catch. Clean up any residual coolant from the area and put a towel on the radiator hose to prevent coolant from dripping out. Then move on to the top hose and do the same process as the lower one and 
then clean up the area. Next, zip tie the upper hose somewhere behind the radiator to move it out of the way. Now, remove the upper coolant line from the expansion tank and move it out of the way. Now press on the upper tabs to release the fan trap from the radiator. Then do the same with the lower tabs. Once the tabs are removed, maneuver the fan trout up and out of the engine bay. Be careful not to bend or break anything when taking it out. When the shroud is removed, push the bottom radiator pegs out of the holes. Then remove the radiator by pulling up and maneuvering towards the rear. Then push on the AC condenser tabs to release the radiator from the condenser. Once the radiator is freed from the condenser, pull the upper radiator tabs away from the top of the condenser and lower the radiator to the ground. Removing the radiator from under the vehicle, be sure to maneuver it around the intercooler piping. Here are a couple side by sides of the stock and mounting radiator. The mounting radiator is significantly larger than the stock one, and with the triple pass, it cools 10 times better as well. Now, before moving on, you'll want to remove the vent plug from the stock radiator. Now, clean the areas of any residual coal. Then clean and install the stock radiator mounting bushings onto the new radiator.
Next, move on to installing the new radiator the same way you took it out, making sure to be careful not to damage anything in the process. For the condenser tabs, it will be much easier to loosen the radiator tab holders to fit the tab securely, then tighten them down using a 10mm wrench or socket. Next, ensure you place the upper radiator tabs onto the top of the condenser as shown. Then seat the bottom radiator posts into the mounting holes. Remove the upper tab holders using a 10mm wrench or socket. Then reinstall the fan shroud, being careful not to damage anything in the process. Shroud back in place, reinstall the upper tab holders with the tabs in place. Then take the vent plug and install it on the new radiator. Also, pull the radiator forward to insert the upper post bushing plastic covers. Take the cables from the cooler pipe and reinsert, starting with the fan trout connector and work your way up. Along with these, reinstall the hood latch cable. Then cut the tie holding the radiator hose back. Install the vacuum line harness onto the mounting post and then reconnect the vacuum lines and upper expansion tank line. Clean the upper radiator hose, coat the inside with new fluid, and then reinstall the shell. Then, perform the same procedure with the lower radiator hose.
Now go ahead and reinstall the intake system, the vacuum lines, connectors, mounting nut, and the hose clamps. Next, remove the cap from the vent plug and set it to the side. Then clean the expansion tank area and insert a funnel. Begin pouring the coolant into the expansion tank. Place a towel near the vent cap for when the air escapes and excess coolant comes out. Continue pouring until you hear and see fluid coming from the vent plug. Then cap the plug, wipe the area, and continue pouring until halfway between the max and min of the expansion tank. Once it's filled with enough coolant, turn on the car and run it until the coolant temp stabilizes to the middle mark. Filling the tank is needed to maintain proper fluid level. During the process, you'll want to put the heat to max fan to the lowest setting as shown. Once the fluid is up to temp, the hot fluid will be where you want it. Cap up the tank, turn off the car, and your job is complete. Thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like it and leave your comments in the comment section below. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that bell to be notified whenever I have new content. In the meantime, go ahead and watch one of the videos on the top left or right. Thanks.